how to use microsoft loop for project management hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can use microsoft loop so having said that let's just jump into the video so over here as you can see i'm on their website loop.microsoft.com and this is how the website looks like pretty cool and right here as you can see they give you a small preview of what to expect so here you can see you have all of the tasks uh, video related video related documents creatives campaigns so you have all of that and over here on the left hand side you can see all of the projects and stuff like that so this is how it looks like and all we have to do is to sign up and get started with it so we're just simply going to go ahead and go back up the top click on get started button right here and sign in with our microsoft account if you don't have a microsoft account you can go ahead and create one right here so let's go ahead and sign in and then just uh, simply go ahead and click on sign in button or yes and we are good to go after that it's going to load up and take you over to the dashboard and here we go so as you can see right here this is how it looks like and over here is the welcome page where you can go ahead and check out uh, what to do with it over here on the left hand side you can go ahead and click on get started to get started with you will have to check the basics over here you can go ahead and check them out type to expand letters get inspired feedbacks and all of that right so you have a bunch of different ones so we'll just go ahead and close this up right here and over here at the top you will see your recents and ideas option right so if you click on ideas here you basically you can create new components and basically write all of the ideas that you have and down below you will see your work and over here is the recent section where you can go ahead and check out all of the recent activity or the recent uh, notes images or files that you've created so at the bottom you have workspaces and if we click on browse all workspace over here you will see all of the workspaces that you have right click on recent components and pages here you will be able to see all the recent components and pages and ideas of course ideas so let's go ahead and create a new workspace now to create a new workspace all you have to do is click on this button right here and then over here you just create a new workspace by entering in the title and maybe even selecting an image like so so maybe select an emoji a hand gesture people you have a bunch of different emojis over here so you can go ahead and select them uh, unfortunately you don't have any stickers but you do have symbols so you can go ahead and add the symbols that you want so let's say this is more of a works so here we'll just uh, add an office or something or money related something so there we go so here we'll add the topic let's say this is a client that we are managing his youtube channel for or podcast for so let's just say james podcast right here this is our workspace we're going to click on create now here you basically create new options so here you basically create uh new pages so here we can say this is the initial page where we go ahead and set up the entire process of creating the ads so we'll just write planning for run now so we'll just say planning and then hit enter now at the bottom we can go ahead and press this forward slash over here and we will get a bunch of different options such as tables checklist bullet points numbers uh dates and all of that right so we can even have the visual templates as well such as a kanban board or a, a task list whatever you want right so here let's say uh, we add the entire process of creating a podcast first of all, let's go ahead and narrow it down as to how many podcasts we have we can add like a list of podcasts to be done so we can add something like that so we can go ahead and add like a board like a kanban board or progress tracker if you want but yeah let's go ahead and click on a kanban board so here we go so this looks pretty good uh here we can have the to-do list the process in progress uh, on hold and done so instead of done we can say it's uploaded so I'll just go ahead and change some of these up on hold is good in progress is good and to do is also so here let's go ahead and add the podcast number one so we'll just say podcast number one right here and over here we can add podcast number two so something like that so here we go so now we have five podcasts ready so now we can go ahead and add the workers so if we click over here we will find a bunch of our team members right here but currently we only have one if you want to add your team members then just simply click on the share button and then you click on workspace or you can just simply click on a page link and this will open it up right here and then you can go ahead and share this page with your team members so currently we only have one person on it so we can go ahead and access 
so we can go ahead and add people right here as well so that they have the access to the entire workspace so you can go ahead and add them so then you can add your workers over here so let's say james is responsible for this and for this one as well and for this one as well over here so we'll just add james like so and then you can select the date so if we click on the date let's say we want them done by the end of the month so we can go ahead and select the date of when it is due there we go now whenever james completes these tasks he can move them over here right and if we click on this button it will open up the uh, entire task and we can go ahead and add uh, stuff to it so for example we can add the notes section over here we can add different notes if we want we can add uh, like a checklist where we want to have a different checklist for each of the podcasts so uh, you can say make sure to add graphics make sure to add highlights make sure to add the promo code at the end so we can add like a checklist so that they can go ahead and check them out and if you want to add a custom field you can click on it by clicking on plus add field and here you can go ahead and select whichever field you want to add once you've done that you are good to go and on each note you can go ahead and insert uh, your comments or notes so let you can say like james you've made a mistake over here or you can say like james you did a fantastic job at this podcast so you can go ahead and add them as well so when you so when a task is completed all they would have to do is just move it over there right and there you go so something like this looks pretty cool and yeah moving on let's go ahead and also add another section over here where we can define roles so for that we can go ahead and add another table over here so right here we can find so we'll add the email column right here and we'll add another column so we'll may move this column right here and here when we press this plus button right here at the end of the column we can add more columns so over here we'll add this column right here and we'll call it roles so we'll add roles over here and here we can see we have added james here we'll add the email for james so it's going to be uh, james at the rate email.com and we can move on to the next one and here the role for james is that he uh, is our lead video editor so we'll just say lead editor over here and then we can add another team member we'll call her sarah and we'll add the email of sarah as well like so and then her role is to check all of the videos so she's basically the qc the quality control so we'll just say quality assurance or the qa quality assurance in the bracket we'll add q and a and let's add another person right here who's going to be our second uh, video editor so we'll move the video editors at the top all right we'll add jimmy right here and uh, jimmy's email and if you want you can add more people right here as well so i think this looks good you can go ahead and color code them as well so if you want to add something on each of these tables so what you can do is you can just right click them and it will give you some options so you have the insert option so you can go add the columns from here rows uh, you can copy the table you can change the uh, height of the table as well and if you want to add more rows as well you just simply click on this plus button and you can go ahead and add more rows to the uh to the to the whole table so this looks pretty good now i also want to add a cover at the back over here so we'll click over here to add a cover and for this one we can go with something like this this looks pretty cool we'll click on add and over here we can add a icon as well so as i said before we'll add the money icon right here and also i want to add another thing so we'll just hit the enter button right here so that we have this one here i want to add another cool thing that you can do is you can add like a table of content now what this table will do is it will have all of the content that you have added so for example as you can see right here table of content we've added the progress table the team members and if you have other stuff to it you can go ahead and do that as well so whatever uh, option or table that you have you can go ahead and add them over here and you can just simply go ahead and quickly click on the table click on the thing that you want and it will take you directly to there now i want to have like a uh, a small little divider between them so we'll just go ahead and add the divider right here we'll click over here and add the divider so something like that that looks pretty cool i'll add this down below as well so dividers are done as you can see right here now we'll go ahead and move on and now if you want to add more stuff to it you can add them as well so just this is actually a very handy tool so you can add checklists bullet points 
updates as well call outs codes if you have like you know your own custom table you can go ahead and add its code over here you have the voting table the checklist or the task list uh, the progress tracker and the team retrospective the q a session as well and over here you can add like a special person or emoji or media image or github or you can even add other applications such as jira and trello so which we will connect later on but for now i believe we'll add another divider here just to you know make things cool or better looking so something like that so this one looks good so as you can see everything is coming together nicely now let's go ahead and add at the bottom let's go ahead and add a q a section right here where we can go ahead and communicate with our team members right uh, we can even add like an add person over here you can add whatever person you want and then over here you can quickly go ahead and talk to them but we want to add uh, a specific section where we can add q a's for our teams so we'll just go ahead and scroll down underneath templates we will find the q a section so we'll just go ahead and do that and over here whenever someone you know goes ahead and ask your question uh you can they can automatically tag you by hitting the a button uh, and they can go ahead and add that question and then you can go ahead and answer them so this is a good thing to add so whenever someone has a question they can go ahead and post it over here so again i'll just go ahead and add a divider here divider here and there you go so as you can see uh, our work section looks pretty good looks pretty pretty amazing if you don't want to go ahead and create all of this uh, there are specific built-in templates that you can go ahead and use for example if we go ahead and create a new page right here click on new page underneath you will see you have some template option and then you have the template gallery so if you click on template gallery uh, it will open up a bunch of different templates over here you can go ahead and select each of the templates that you like so as you can see this one looks pretty similar to the one that we created instead of but it has a little bit more options over here so you can see uh, project deliverability and all of that on the left hand side you will see all of them so you have decision team decisions over here if you, so if you click on it it will open up here and as you can see it looks pretty good looks pretty cool you have your ideas you have your product wiki uh, you also have your action hero uh, so over here you can go ahead and check it out so action heroes so objectives owners you have your stand-up meetings you have a bunch of different options you have a bunch of different templates that you can choose so let's say we just wanted to quickly go ahead and create a project brief so we can go ahead and do that we can go ahead and create that and yeah after that we just simply click on use template and it will automatically import all the details from there and then you can go ahead and start adding your own team members in their emails their roles uh your project deliverables your project deliverables over here the task and you can assign different people to that task so very simple and down below you can add relevant links as well so it looks pretty cool and again you can add the cover and page icon over there as well now that's all pretty cool so if we wanted to delete this we'll just go ahead and delete this uh section and now if we wanted to recover them you know we accidentally deleted it we can find it in the recycle bin right here so you can see i have deleted a couple of them so i can just simply go ahead and restore them by simply clicking on the three button and clicking on restore if i want to delete them i can just simply hit the delete button to permanently delete them so yeah so then you have your idea section as well so over here you can click on new component and as you can see you can just simply go ahead and create ideas brainstorm them over here but yeah but for now if we go back you will find your workspace right over here and you can go ahead and interact with them as well now let's go ahead and add a new page and over here we'll connect jira so over here if we want to connect a specific application like trello or jira we just simply open them up by clicking on the button and it will open up over here but currently this feature is not available yet so we'll have to wait but we can get it if we log in through the official work slash school accounts or but it is available through the official work and school account so if you wanted to have them you can go ahead and do that uh, let's go ahead and see if jira is available as well and i believe jira is not so is trello so we can't have them so as you can see trello board we can't add them but yeah so let's go ahead and show you another cool thing that you can do uh, if you have multiple different options right here right if you have multiple different pages you can go ahead and search for one by just simply clicking on the search bar or the search button and just typing in the name of that project so uh, whatever you want you can just simply go ahead and type it in and we'll find it so for example if we have uh, planning well that makes no sense why would you open this up it makes no sense 
and if uh, there is no result for example let's say we search for something that isn't available in microsoft loop then it will directly take you over to bing where you can find it and also if you want you can click on this button right here where you have shared locations if you can go ahead and check out all the options you want if you want to copy the loop as a component you can go ahead and copy it and then you can paste it in another work share and then you can paste it in another work place as well so you, as you can see you can go ahead and copy it from here if you want to delete them or do something or check out the version history then you click on the three dots at the very corner and then you will have version history and recap so if you click on recap you will find all the things that have happened recently so for example if we click on planning and also if you click on the three dots at the corner uh, you can select the version history so for example if we go into planning we click on version history we can check out all of the uh, changes that we made and also we can create recaps so if we click on the three buttons and click on recap so as you can see uh, recap hasn't been created yet uh, it will appear when they create them so if we click on create new recap we can go ahead and mention someone over here like this person right here and then we can go ahead and add like a post something if we click on post uh, they will have that recap over there so you can go ahead and view them so this is kind of like a a reminder of something so you know people can go ahead and check out the recap section for reminders but yes and if you're wondering whether or not microsoft loop is free then yes it is free it's absolutely free however if you do decide to purchase the microsoft 365 uh, in it it will also be available so if you're wondering about that it does come with microsoft 365 if you're planning to purchase it or not but yes other than that these were all the things that you needed to know about loop and how you can use it to create your and manage your productivity and how you can manage your business so very simple it was very good it was it's an excellent software that i highly recommend you use so very simple this is how you do it this is how you use microsoft loop and how you can use it to my manage your business and having said that if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye